Okay, in the vocabulary section, our first word is pull. Now, this is a force that you can make. Pull means to move something towards you. So, in this case, the horse is pulling the cart or the buggy because the horse is pulling it towards it. If you take something and you make it move towards you, you are pulling it like a door, right? A door will say push or pull when you go to a business, right? You go to a coffee shop and you open the door. Look at the door. It says push or pull. If it says pull, pull the door towards you, okay? We'll talk about push in a second. If it says push, push it away from you, okay? So those are our opposite words. Push and pull. So if you pull the door, you pull it towards you. If you push it, you move something away from you. See, now in this situation, this girl is pushing the cart or the wheelbarrow away from her. So she's pushing it. The horse is pulling, the girl is pushing. Okay, so these are opposite forces. Okay, pull and push. Next, we have bounce. That's a fun word, isn't it? You can bounce a ball, right? It means to move up or away from a surface after hitting it. So if you bounce a ball, you throw the ball on the ground, it hits the ground and bounces back up. If you go to some places, some fun places, you can bounce yourself, right? You can jump onto like a big air uh, container or tube and you will compress it and you'll bounce, your whole body will bounce back up. That's fun, isn't it? Right? It's a bouncing room, right? So, to bounce means to move up or away from a surface after hitting it. And of course, we like to play with balls, right? We throw a ball against a wall, it bounces back and we catch it, okay? So, you can play tennis by yourself if you want to, right? Against a wall. Or you can play uh, uh, table tennis also. But of course, many people all like to play uh, uh, just with a ball bouncing it to each other or just bouncing it by yourself. And of course, basketball is a sport where they really bounce the ball a lot. So that's bounce. Okay. Gravity. Now, gravity is a force, right? It's a very strong force and it pulls everything towards the ground. A few lessons ago, we talked about the planets that go around the sun. Every very every object has some force, some attraction uh, that that attracts other objects to it. The bigger the object, the stronger the force. So imagine the sun is very very huge. It's very big, so it has a lot of gravity, and that's what keeps those planets. Of course, the planets have gravity too, and that's what keeps them going around each other instead of just flying off into space. Thankfully, the Earth has gravity. We are all being pulled to the center of the earth, but not too strong. Our muscles are strong enough so we can move around. Whew. But it's thankfully strong enough, it keeps us on the ground so we don't go flying away. That's not good either, okay? So gravity, uh, we're used to the earth's gravity. It keeps us on the ground, keeps every object on the ground. Next, we have friction. Friction is another type of force. It's a force between two objects moving over each other. Now, here I have to be careful and say moving over each other. In English, you know, if you have an object here, right, and the ground is here and this object is moving, yes, the object is moving over the ground. But this, if the object is touching the ground and also moving, but it's touching, it's also over the ground. So in this case, I'm not talking about this situation. I'm talking about this situation when two objects move over, when an, one object moves over another object, but they are touching. Not here, they are touching. Then you have friction. Here, there's no friction, right? But here, yes, you have friction. So they have to be touching, not just over each other, but also touching. Like the golf ball, right? The golf ball over the grass. The golf ball as it's moving, it has friction. It's slowing down because it's actually touching the grass. Okay. Surface. The surface is the top part of something. The picture here shows the surface of the ocean. 
right? We can't see underneath the surface of the ocean. We only see the surface. It's the top part of something. My skin. We only see the surface of the skin. Thankfully, we don't see what's underneath. Ugh, yuck, right? So <laughs> we just see the surface of the skin. Okay, so those are some. Those are our words in the vocabulary section. Some of them are kind of interesting, maybe a little difficult. Let's explore them more in more detail in the two ideas and the reading section. Lesson twelve. Forces. Pull. To move something towards you. Push. To move something away from you. Bounce. To move up or away from a surface after hitting it. Gravity. The force that pulls everything towards the ground. Friction. A force between two objects moving over each other. Surface. The top part of something.